good evening and thank you for joining us in the presentation of the SCA dialogue number four, the dialogue on madness and wisdom, which is now available on Amazon in paperback and uh, Kindle format. I'm really excited to welcome our three authors tonight. Well, two of them are here. The third one, we hope, will join us soon. Um, Professor Miles Grove, who is going to be our host for the night, who has uh, edited the script and who has been the essential coordinator of this project. Welcome to Professor Vincenzo Caretti, who is the author of the original script. And uh, welcome, hopefully, to Dr. Danilo Serra, who has uh, provided us with a brilliant translation from Italian into English. I want to um, express a sincere thank you to all three authors on behalf of the SEA for your generosity in donating the publishing rights for uh, this very important publication. And also, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to two very important people. And they are Dean Andrews, who edits all the publications of the SEA, and Adam Knowles, who um, looks after the Amazon publishing. They are always there, always available, always in the background, doing a great job. So thank you, Adam and Dean. And I think that's all from me. So enjoy the evening and it's over to you, Miles. Thank you, Paola. Um, it's good to see colleagues uh, from SEA um, again and uh, I am uh, delighted to uh, uh, host uh, the first hour um, of this uh, evening's uh, launch of, uh, of <clears throat> the, the latest in the dialogues uh, series. Um, I uh, am going to just say a very few words by way of introduction about how this all came about, how this project all came about. Um, and then um, uh, ask uh, the author, um, who, who's uh, been so gracious uh, as, as to uh, make this uh, project possible, um, uh, a friend now, Vincenzo Caretti, uh, to talk a little bit about um, uh, his experience uh, in 1978 when he sat down as a young man with uh, uh, R.D. Lang. And uh, as a result, uh, we have uh, this text before us. Um, but before we make that step, um, I'll give you just a bit of background. Um, and I <clears throat> see that Danilo is not here. Um, we think he might be coming um, along in a bit but um, uh, we'll uh, certainly be able to uh, cover some of the material <clears throat> that he would have said if he uh, were able to be here. Um, <clears throat> this book <clears throat> is one of those odd products of the COVID era. Uh, I have to uh, put it in those terms. Um, in 20, <clears throat> 19, 2020, 2021, have been strange years uh, for all of us, of course. And this uh, book is one of the positive side effects of, of our isolation from each other um, locally, <clears throat> in as much as it uh, seems to have urged a lot of people to reach out to people far, far away, um, looking for connections, uh, uh, resuming old, Bond, uh, I found that in my own life. Uh, but in this case, uh, some new connections uh, for me. And uh, uh, let me just tell you briefly what happened. <clears throat> just by chance in late 2020, <clears throat> I made the acquaintance of a then doctoral candidate at the University of Bergamo, uh, Danilo Serra. He had just published a remarkable book <clears throat> called The Madness of Jesus. Sorry about my 
my uh, Italian, La Follia de Jesus, uh, in 2017. <clears throat> there was the word madness. Um, how had we uh, come together? <clears throat> A common interest in Heidegger, because not only had this young scholar who was <clears throat> not yet 30, not yet 30, um, uh, published also a book on Martin Heidegger. What does thinking mean in Heidegger toward an ethic of thinking? And so we met up um, on the Heidegger Forum on Facebook, and I expressed interest in his interest uh, in Heidegger, and we began a little email exchange. Um, the following year, in talking about uh, Heidegger and uh, his work there, I said, by the way, uh, had you uh, come across the name R.D. Lang? Uh, because here was a psychiatrist, analyst of some importance uh, who had been influenced by Heidegger. And he said, no, I, I don't know about this person. And so began a, um, a discussion uh, about Lang. And um, at the same time, um, I was editing a book, uh, which is also being published actually this, this week. Um, uh, 1998 book, uh, Heidegger's Impact on Psychotherapy. <clears throat> Um, and at the beginning uh, of Kondrau's book, he makes reference uh, to a book by uh, Vincenzo Caretti. Um, and the three serendipitously uh, came together, uh, the uh, reference uh, to Lang in, by Kondrau, the newfound interest in um, uh, Lang in Danilo, um, and the discovery then um, of not only, uh, for me, the discovery uh, of an introduction that Lang had written for uh, Professor Caretti's book, and he'll perhaps tell you uh, something about that. <clears throat> All of these uh, events converged, and while talking uh, to uh, Danilo by email, I said, uh, have you by any chance been able to get a copy of uh, the book by Vincenzo Caretti, um, roughly to be translated uh, with, uh, with R.D. Lang, which we have before us today. Well, he found a copy of it. Um, it was not available to me. I searched high and low, but he was able to find a copy of it uh, in uh, Agrigento, where he was in isolation. I was in isolation and in New York. And as we found out, uh, Vincenzo was uh, uh, in his own uh, space uh, in Italy. Um, again, more of more or less all of us uh, isolated. Um, and by the way, <clears throat> another connection that uh, I should make uh, between Danilo and uh, uh, these background events is that, again, an extraordinary coincidence. Uh, this young man had uh, gone to Seville uh, to contribute to a meeting of the Heidegger archive there, which had been set up by Alfred Denker. Alfred and I had become close uh, at the end of 2020, all, actually earlier, but we decided that uh, with the uh, change in uh, lifestyle, perhaps some webinars on Heidegger might be appropriate. And so in fact, uh, a, a full year, more than a year has passed uh, with, with that sort of uh, activity. But he had met Danilo of all things. So we had this interesting collection of people who had never met face to face um, and uh, uh, a, a book, a book um, published in 1979. 
And 2020 was the first year of COVID and we were all isolated. I was in New York, Danilo was on Agrigento. Danilo and I wrote um, for uh, a while and um, topic came up of Dasein's analysis as well as uh, Heidegger, as well as uh, Lang. So a number of uh, strands wove together around a variety of themes. Um, we had a book and uh, it was my idea that perhaps this is a book uh, that should be uh, available in English. To my surprise, it had been translated into three other languages, but never into English. And I puzzled about that. Eventually, we found out a bit of the story uh, of that. But I thought, uh, let's try to resurrect this publication. And I asked Danilo for a resume um, uh, of the Italian book. And I, it was absolutely... Uh, formidable and, and enchanting. And so I put it to him, uh, should we try to work on a project uh, together? Uh, should we try to find the author uh, whom we had uh, not met then and uh, happily met since and uh, set to work uh, on translating it? Um, Danilo uh, found that uh, the, uh, Vincenzo's book had uh, been copyrighted by La Terza, uh, a, a publisher in Italy, and he asked permission to, uh, to uh, have the copyright to, to do a translation. They granted it, and he was uh, on the trail of uh, uh, finding uh, Vincenzo, and eventually uh, we, of course, all met. Um, during six months, over a period of six months, then uh, Danilo would, Danilo would uh, scan pages of the book, um, make an English translation, send along the pages to me. Um, they were flawless. I, uh, I was astonished. Um, the, the, the English text, and I couldn't compare original. Um, uh, which we did uh, from time to time in very, very few places, usually around idioms and that sort of thing. Um, it, it was flawless. And, and I thought, this, this is wonderful. Uh, I think we're going to have a real contribution to make in a, uh, in a number of ways uh, by making known to um, uh, the community of existential analysts uh, someone of great importance, I think, and, and that's my friend uh, uh, Vincenzo uh, and his connection with this remarkable maverick uh, R.D. Lang. Um, well, we'd, we worked on these uh, uh, pages for uh, six months. Uh, we finalized uh, a text, um, and by this time, um, we had found Vincenzo. Um, the, and Paola had agreed that uh, this would be a project uh, that the SEA would uh, support by publishing what we have now in front of us, which is the Dialogues on Madness and Wisdom in, in conversation uh, with R.D. Lang. Um, it was then the worst of times for a lot of us, and we're finally coming out of it, but it uh, it was the best. It was a it was a great time uh, to work uh, with Danilo on this translation, and it was a great time uh, also uh, to meet uh, Vincenzo. Um, uh, I, everyone here, I'm sure, is very familiar with with Lang, um, but what they might not know, and you'll be able to read in more detail in uh, Vincenzo's introduction to the book uh, is what kind of a man he was, um, especially uh, uh, given the uh, opportunity to meet a young 20-something um, uh, 
scholar, student uh, from Italy who came to uh, visit him. Um, and that, of course, was Vincenzo uh, Caretti. Uh, at this point, I think the best uh, next step then would be to ask uh, uh, Vincenzo uh, to tell us a little bit about how he met Lang um, and what the situation was uh, surrounding the taping and uh, preparation of the manuscript for uh, publication. Um, by the way, I, I'll just save uh, some time. Um, uh, the uh, conversations were taped. Uh, they were carried out in English. A transcript was uh, prepared um, of the uh, uh, tapes and immediately translated. And the translator is acknowledged uh, uh, in, uh, in Vincenzo's book. Um, the text of the transcript evidently has gone missing, uh, as has the uh, uh, tape has a, have the tapes themselves. Um, that we have this remarkable uh, uh, exchange now available for the first time in English, I, I think is going to turn out to be a rather important event. Um, uh, Lang is as uh, important today as he was in 1978. Um, his vitality, his breadth of ideas and topics of interest uh, uh, continue to uh, astonish me. Um, uh, and, and before I turn this over to Vincenzo for a personal account of, of his meeting with Lang, I'll, I'll say my own encounter uh, with him, which was here in New York, uh, two years before he died, uh, where he made an appearance um, uh, up on Central Park West um, at the Society for Ethical Culture. The place was jam-packed. He was still very, very um, uh, well-known, and, and uh, there were just too many people to fit into the venue. But I was there and uh, uh, at the back of the auditorium, and there was tiny little uh, Lang far away um, moving about in the... Uh, uh, near the dais where he was uh, about to talk. And I just want to say in, in, in a couple of words, um, and I've written about this, Lang's presence. Um, I found it remarkable and never met him. It was at a distance. But I saw and, and subsequently have seen other tapes of him in, live and in person. Um, having a sort of charismatic effect on, on the people he was around. Um, we can see this in some taped interviews and uh, uh, did you used to be R.D. Lang, for example. But I'm looking forward to hearing about what it was like uh, to meet him. Uh, and this is not, was not my pleasure, but it was that of uh, uh, Vincenzo Caretti. So I invite uh, Vincenzo now to tell us a little bit about uh, how he met Lang and what that week was like and what those months were like uh, when you were, were with him. Thank you, Vincenzo. Oh, and uh, thank you to you, Miles. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you to Paola. Thank you to the uh, Society of the Existential Analysis. Uh, I'm very pleased and honored uh, to stay with you uh, this evening. Uh, um, and uh, I am very pleased because uh, this is uh, a story that, that more than 40 years ago, uh, when I was 24. And uh, I was just, uh, I was, uh, I finished, uh, complete my degree in philosophy, but I was very interested in uh, psychiatry. And the, uh, before, when I was uh, uh, full of uh, uh, your story, Miles, uh, I was thinking it was a sort of an uh, archetypal uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, archetypal moods. A younger philosopher, very interested uh, in uh, suffering of human suffering uh, and in searching of medicine men, <laughs> like uh, Danilo and you, and like I was 24, 20, 24. Uh, I met, uh, I met, uh, uh, I know, I knew at that time uh, in my interest in uh, uh, existential philosophy, of course, uh, uh, and uh, uh, psychoanalysis, uh, because I was at that time at the beginning of my training as a Jungian psychoanalysis. I met uh, uh, Leung um, uh, very, in, in, uh, in a very, uh, in a very strange situation. One friend uh, told me uh, that uh, Leung was uh, at the Hilton Hotel. In, uh, in they were there was a, in, uh, a congress of uh, uh, International Society of Gynecology. And he was invited uh, for a special reason because uh, he was very interested in the dynamic of family, especially the dynamic uh, at, the, at the beginning of life. And uh, so at that time, uh, and he was uh, in uh, 78, uh, was the first uh, observation of the new culture about uh, the importance of the environment. So the, the, the mother, the father, just the beginning of the birth. And so I met in, uh, in this Congress uh, and uh, there were a lot of journalists because at that time, uh, Ronnie was a sort of pop star, international pop star. And so very shy, I was 24, I came across to him and I said, May I ask you something, uh, uh, Professor? So he, he was very generous man. And we stay, he stayed with me more than one hour. And he said, please come in London now. Me, we can make something together. So it was, uh, this is, uh, was the first meeting. In, uh, I, this, in the afternoon, I phoned to my publisher. At that time was uh, uh, La Terza because I know he published a series of interviews. And I said, ma, ma, why we, we ask Professor Leng to do this interview? And this was a Leng say yes. And this was the second interview. Uh, the third interview was the last one. It was published uh, after uh, his uh, uh, disappear in the 95 by uh, Bob Mullen and the name Med to be normal. This is very interesting. Uh, interview but uh, um, uh, what is uh, the, the i mean uh, the, the 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 specialty of the these dialogues uh, between uh, uh, the giant uh, uh Erdi Lang and the uh, scholar uh, vincenzo garetti at 24. uh at that time uh, i was very interested of course in philosophy because i was uh, trained in philosophy but I was also interested in uh, some changing uh, in, the, in, the, in the psychiatry, especially in psychoanalysis. And uh, I was very interested uh, in, uh, in the, the first book of their delay, The Divided Self. The Divided Self is one, uh, is one uh, masterpiece in, uh, in uh, not only in uh, phenomenological uh, psychiatry, but in the psychiatry because uh, in, uh, in uh, the first time uh, he said, uh, just in the first, uh, in the first line, uh, the inner experience of a schizoid personality is, is a splitting the dissociation uh, between, uh, the, uh, between uh, the world of the other uh, and uh, his inner experience. There is a disruption. And, and, uh, and this was a sort of illuminating for me because uh, this is, was uh, exactly in uh, the first line, uh, a phenomenological quote about uh, the experience uh, of people uh, that break down in uh, a, a suffering uh, as a psychosis, uh, or we say today as a, a very hard personality disorder. And um, so in, uh, in, uh, I asked him uh, uh, in this uh, in, uh, interview, uh, uh, what, what does it was, uh, this change in, uh, in psychiatry? So, and at that time, of, of course, uh, uh, Erdi Lang, uh, the perspective of Erdi Lang was uh, exactly a perspective uh, 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 in uh, uh, 
theoropeatic relationship. And uh, the perspective, the relational perspective uh, was the aim of uh, his manner to stay with patients. Uh, I know this because uh, uh, I met Ronnie different time. I, uh, I went after the interview, I came back in London. I stay in, uh, in the house of the, of the uh, Philadelphia Association because uh, uh, in, uh, uh, you know, Ronnie was uh, an innovator and uh, revolutionary. Things about uh, in uh, uh, Ronnie in, uh, after uh, his uh, uh, after uh, his training at psychiatrist, uh, he entered uh, in '56 at the Tavistock uh, Clinic. In the Tavistock Clinic, uh, he met Winnicott, Bion, uh, um, uh, John Bowlby, the great uh, uh, theorist of the, the attachment theory. And then he started his training, uh, his psychoanalytic training, uh, but he was very unsatisfied. He was uh, very unsatisfied because at that time, uh, the neutrality in uh, therapeutic uh, methods uh, was uh, the aims. So he was very surprised because he, he was very interested uh, in the communication, uh, in the changing in the communication. And uh, so uh, this is, uh, was very important because in the 65, uh, he, and, uh, he, he founded uh, the great experience of Kingsley Hall. Kingsley Hall was a charity. Uh, Ronnie had uh, the great idea in this charity, we uh, try to, uh, to take care of the people, psychotic people in different way, with, uh, with, uh, without medicine, but only by the community to stay with, uh, with uh, Order which order, and, uh, and this experiment was uh, changing, really changed the story of psychiatry because after the experiments, uh, they start all over the world uh, the community, the therapeutic community. This was uh, the first intention on uh, air delay. And then uh, hey, it's very important uh, at that time because uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, 67, uh, it was the great uh, organ uh, in. Uh, uh, organizer uh, of uh, the uh, very important Congress uh, in London was a dialectic of liberation, uh, 67. And then the Congress, they were uh, Stokely Carmichael or the Black Panthers, uh, Herbert Marcuse, uh, um, uh, uh, Lauren Mosh, and so on, was a great important. And uh, there, is a, there, is a, there is a book on that famous Congress. So this was uh, the age of, uh, of uh, the 68, uh, the, uh, the manifestation in uh, all over the Europe, all over the world. And uh, it is very important. In the 71, I met Ronnie Lang in the seven, at the end of 77, 78. In the 71, uh, he changed completely and uh, he goes to Sri Lanka. Many of the part of the interview is uh, 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 around his interest, and at that time, even my interest uh, in uh, Oriental philosophy. Why Oriental philosophy? And this was uh, very illuminating for me. In the 71, uh, Ronnie changed completely in, uh, in his life uh, and uh, uh, start uh, his journey in uh, Sri Lanka. And uh, he spent uh, uh, um, uh, two months uh, in a monastery in uh, Kandy, in the forest of Kandy. In this, uh, uh, in this uh, uh, monastery, there were a very important uh, Buddhist monk, his name for Nyanaponi Katera. Nyanaponi Katera has brought a libro the art uh, of Buddhist meditation. And uh, there, uh, 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 Ronnie practice, uh, and this is very interesting how the thinking the spirit of Ronnie is not 40 years old, but even now, he was uh, very attracted about uh, the Anapani, Anapani uh, Sutta, the uh, Sutra. This is uh, in, uh, a speech of Buddha of 2,500 years ago, um, where Buddha uh, were, uh, uh, teach about uh, the uh, meditation by breathing, breathing. That one we call all today mindfulness, <laughs> or today even we call uh, uh, neural exercise. Uh, we call it uh, when we use uh, a cognitive uh, 
uh, uh, a cognitive uh, uh, lexicon is a, uh, a neuroaffective ex lexicon. So Ronnie was very interesting to mindfulness. 40 years ago. Now everyone knows exactly how the mindfulness is it, how it's important, even in, uh, in the therapeutic approach, in existential, uh, in existential perspective, uh, when you have to support the patients. And uh, this is, was a very, I mean, this is a story of uh, Erdi Lang. In uh, the interview is, uh, is an interview of a young scholar, uh, uh, very interesting philosophy, very interesting, uh, of course, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, the changing of psychiatry and uh, in psychoanalysis. But uh, it was uh, very interesting, uh, the language of, of Erdi Lang. Uh, Erdi Lang was, uh, even in the interviews, with a lot of paradox. Um, uh, his, uh, m uh, his manner uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, answer of my question uh, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, very uh, exactly was as it was. And um, he was very interested in communication. And he said uh, the madness, uh, the despair uh, uh, is uh, the onset uh, when in a family, uh, so in a system of attachment, uh, the communication doesn't work. And so this communication becomes uh, hypocrisy and that uh, ordinary hypocrisy that uh, uh, is uh, in the, the base of, of uh, human uh, alienation, because uh, when a uh, fall of the communication between humans, uh, all the system doesn't work anymore, or they distort their, their uh, way to stay and uh, to interact. Ronnie studied this, uh, this, this question, but he studied even in experimental, uh, like in the politics of family. And uh, he was very interested, uh, even in, other, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in another way, uh, the, the, the way to understand the meaning of the body. In a design analysis, we don't have to forget uh, the, the body. The, uh, um, I was very surprised uh, last week, I was reading uh, this uh, new book of Thomas Fuchs, uh, uh, is, a, is a philosopher and uh, he works at Heidelberg, uh, probably on the, on the, on the embodiment. Uh, uh, Ronnie was one of thinking that in the psychotic experience, uh, body and mind uh, are completely dissociated. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and this is dissociation between the mind and mind is not a, a neurological problem. It's not only a psychiatric problem. It's a problem of uh, a human that cannot communicate uh, with others. Uh, it cannot mentalize uh, the relationship within uh, the body, the sensation uh, when he uh, stay with others in the world. And this is what Ronnie Lay. Uh, was a uh, when I say is inno uh, innovator not only because uh, 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 I, uh, he, he was my master but because he was uh, some some uh, some uh, some uh, illumination about uh, the new change in psychiatry and for this question uh, his book of Ronnie Lang after fifty years they they still reading you can find in every in every bookshop uh, because uh, he he was a uh, uh, he was a very uh, human in the really humanistic sense uh, in uh, when he said for example if you want to understand the schizophrenia you have to understand the despair at that time so you can you can talk with the schizophrenia the schizophrenic patients uh, and uh, that was he was starting when uh, when uh, when uh, when he was started as a psychiatrist that was uh, this interest uh, before he entered in Tavisto Clinic, uh, to understand uh, 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 what is the meaning uh, of delirium, uh, what is the meaning of hallucination. This is what uh, uh, Ronnie Lang. Uh, and uh, he understand, he understood uh, really practically that uh, the word uh, to speak with the people, uh, to enter in the imagination of the people, in, dream, in the dreams of people, uh, and uh, this is, uh, is a sort of rehabilitation of that form of uh, communication, uh, completely 
destroyed in, uh, in, uh, in uh, dysfunctional dynamics uh, in, the, in the family, in the environment. Uh, and this was, uh, I was uh, uh, one, uh, and uh, uh, I, I, I like uh, uh, to quote about this uh, uh, in uh, his manner, uh, even uh, because uh, we don't have to uh, uh, forget that uh, Ronnie Lang was uh, even uh, 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 not only a philosopher, not only a psychiatrist, uh, 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 Mm, uh, uh, even uh, in the last part of his life, uh, he had a, a relationship with uh, Foucault. Uh, Foucault, a great relation with, with Foucault. Um, so, but he was uh, always interested about, uh, about uh, the, uh, the truth, uh, uh, exactly behind uh, all uh, the game the game that uh, destroy the experience uh, of a human being uh, in, uh, in the relationship uh, with the others. And, uh, and uh, I remember this quote, you know, that uh, and, uh, when uh, one of his uh, last book uh, was a sort of uh, poems uh, called Knox, Knox. And the first of his Knox, uh, exactly the manner, the way, or thinking, uh, or laying, uh, or laying uh, uh, thought about uh, the psychotic experience, uh, the dissociative experience, uh, the inauthenticity that uh, is uh, uh, that characterize, characterize uh, the the, uh, the, uh, the experience uh, in the suffering uh, of the of the of the schizophrenia. He said, they are, they are uh, playing a game. They are playing, uh, are not playing a game. If I show them I see they are, I shall break the rules and they will punish me. I must play their game of not seeing, I see the game. And this was uh, Ronnie Lane. <laughs> Vincenzo, um, I think I'm interested, and in perhaps uh, uh, the group is also interested. Uh, Lang was 52. He had many, many children uh, by that time. And you were uh, 24 um, when you met uh, and had that long one hour conversation. And then uh, uh, what can you say was <clears throat> was it about his personality that made it possible for some senior, very very famous uh, uh, personality uh, author to form this um, rapprochement, this this uh, closeness uh, and interest with with you? Um, because I'm guessing he didn't do it with everybody who came up and talk to him. Um, so what do, you, what, what do you think it was in his personality that uh, made it possible for you to have this, this linkage, um, this uh, connection uh, that made the book possible? Well, uh, you know, uh, the personality of Larry Lang was a complex uh, personality, uh, like as a genius, uh, as a, a, a great uh, feeling uh, for us, uh, thinking, uh, uh, science, uh, uh, music. Uh, um, every night at the time, and this is, was in uh, 78, 79, 80, uh, at night time uh, in uh, his house uh, in, uh, in uh, Eaton Road, in northwest of London. Uh, he played piano because he, he, he loved piano. And, uh, and there were a lot of people, Leon Redrell, uh, Francis Axley, he was a sort of a big community, artist, a psychiatrist, a philosopher. Um, so Lang was uh, a great entertainer, uh, and, uh, but even uh, with uh, an inner side uh, of uh, sadness, uh, in a sadness uh, about uh, 
uh, is a uh, is story, is a personal story, um, uh, or uh, his sadness, uh, in, uh, like uh, he was sometimes uh, even uh, even uh, with some despair, uh, is. Uh, a uh, 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 way to see this change in all the world uh, was a sort of mixing uh, of uh, 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 very great hope, very great ener energy, and uh, some uh, sadness uh, about uh, the globalization, about uh, the uh, injustice, uh, 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 about uh, the suffering uh, of the people. Uh, and um, uh, exactly what I said before, uh, quoting Lang, uh, if, you, if you want to understand the schizophrenia, you have to understand the despair. So you have to, to know the despair. And uh, A is uh, the despair of the, of the, of the psychiatrist uh, that uh, uh, become uh, a caring of the, another one. Otherwise, you treat another one uh, in uh, desperation uh, or in, uh, in uh, somatic symptom, uh, only like uh, uh, an object uh, very distant uh, from you. And this is what, what the, the way of uh, air delaying. So it was a he, 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 he was a, a man of great empathy. Empathy. Sometimes he exceed in his empathy, you know. And uh, uh, and uh, I like uh, to uh, um, to 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 make evidence of this because uh, he was very generous man. Generous in terms of emotion. Generous in terms of. Uh, um availability with uh, uh, with the others uh, and sometimes I, I was very very surprised I was very surprised because I was 24 he was a giant I said uh, but uh, why is uh, so if I, I understand he was uh, uh, he was pleased to 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 uh, to have ex this exchange uh, with a younger philosophy like uh, you miles uh, with uh, with the uh, Danilo and um, but I think uh, that I have a sort of doubt so because uh, because I have uh, uh, um, I, I I can I can uh, I can drink without problem. Uh, Ronnie, so when he drinks, uh, he was losing his control, and so every night I bring home him. <laughs> so for probably I was thinking maybe we get friends because uh, I bring uh, bring him uh, back to home at night time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Vincenzo, um, we uh, are within a few minutes of. Um, uh, wrapping up the uh, first hour, which is being recorded, and uh, there will be questions in the second hour uh, to to you, uh, especially. Um, uh, uh, and uh, I'm told that Danilo did not make it, so I think, unfortunately, uh, we won't hear from him. Um, <clears throat> if <clears throat> let me <clears throat> end this formal section <clears throat> with a with a question uh, to you, and perhaps others will have related questions. Um, this is a group of existential analysts. Um, uh, to what extent do you think Lang is still important in 2022 for existential analysis, for Dasein's analysis? Um, and I'll perhaps even say for the future of psychotherapy about which there are some very important questions to be asked. Uh, so that would be my, my question and, and hope uh, not to put you on the spot too much, um, but I think it, it, it's a question probably in the minds of everybody who will buy this book. Uh, uh, what's, what, what is in here <clears throat> that's still alive especially for uh, existential analysts, uh, but for psychotherapy in, in general. But in, uh, this is a very important question. Uh, uh, what is of the uh, uh, legs uh, taught uh, in uh, 
uh, in uh, in uh, now, what is very very important. Uh, I, I would like uh, again to quote uh, Erdi Lang in the political experience. He said, uh, uh, "The psychotherapy. This is was in the political experience. Uh, the psychotherapy is the f effort uh, of two persons to recover uh, the human dignity dignity uh, through their relationship." This is a design analysis. And, uh, I mean, uh, 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 the, the, the importance of the relationship. Uh, and the relationship uh, in, uh, is not only, I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, the motivation to take care of another one, uh, but the relationship uh, means many things. For instance, uh, to manage uh, the rupture uh, of the relationship, even uh, even uh, in uh, in uh, in the experience uh, of the caregiving, uh, in the therapeutic uh, uh, relationship, uh, and uh, even uh, to manage the rupture and to manage the reparation of a relationship, uh, uh, because of the communication, uh, uh, Lang was uh, a great expert uh, of the of the distortion in the communication, uh, even when the communication appears in terms of, of love, of in interest in another one, but in behind uh, there, is, uh, there is some, uh, some, uh, some uh, destructive uh, uh, per, uh, uh, perspective, uh, sometimes even to destroy another person. And uh, so what does it mean the relationship? A relationship uh, for, uh, for uh, Langs uh, coming uh, uh, also from a, a psychoanalytic uh, 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 tradition uh, was to understand his emotion in the relationship. Today in uh, cognitive therapy, but even uh, in, uh, in the cognitive uh, 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 therapy, there is uh, some changing. They apply some methods uh, without, uh, uh, without thinking, uh, what is the relationship from me and this other person? What is the, what is the experience uh, of the other, the patients uh, of the client, uh, of me, of my body? Oh, my sound of my voice. Ronnie was very interested about uh, this uh, dynamic, very deep dynamic uh, between two people. And uh, he knows very well that, that even when uh, you take care of someone who, has, uh, 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 who had in, uh, a primary experience uh, in his attachment system, and I like to quote attachment system because when Ronnie Lang goes to Tavistock Clinic, Bowlby was there, was, uh, no, was working there. So he understood the importance of the family and the dynamic of the family just in the early stage of the develop development. So the communication and the communication in uh, therapy uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, is is very 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 important. Uh, what is the experience uh, of the? What is the, the emotional regulation uh, of the therapist in the therapy and in the relationship with another? Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I mean. Uh, in uh, this, uh, in this uh, perspective, in Langian perspective, there is uh, even also the philosophy of Merleau-Ponty in, uh, in uh, when uh, he started that he quoted the importance of, of the human relationship. So, I mean, uh, in uh, uh, R.D. Lang, and uh, R.D. Lang is, uh, is still alive, is still present, uh, and uh, always uh, he reminds us, uh, uh, what does he say uh, uh, um, 50 years ago in uh, the psychotherapy? The, and uh, it thinks about, uh, and uh, here uh, tonight we are all the colleagues, thinks about uh, the social problem. You know, Miles, then now, the OMS, uh, the uh, World Organization of uh, Health, uh, the, uh, uh, the said 
Now, the first illness uh, is the depression. The first illness all over the world. And this is uh, why we have to ask why the first illness uh, more than uh, 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 illness of, uh, uh, in uh, cardiology or in oncology, more. The first uh, diagnosis all over the world. What does it mean? This? Uh, people doesn't communicate or probably in, uh, as a, uh, as a, as a, is interesting, uh, I mean, uh, yes, la, la, yesterday I was reading uh, this uh, book of this uh, existential, new existential philosopher, Byung Chul An, is as a broken uh, book, very interesting, non things, uh, upheaval in the life world. And it's a sort of, uh, it's a sort of existential philosophy about the technology, the globalization, and uh, and uh, the changing in the human life. So, uh, 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 Ronnie was very interesting in the transformation, especially the transformation in, uh, in the re therapeutic relationship. And the therapeutic relationship has this goal, to recover the dignity of to be a human in this world, in your family, in your couples, with your sons, with your colleagues. This is the aims of uh, Langian therapy. And uh, in this uh, perspective uh, today, we can use uh, even uh, the instrument uh, that because of the science in 40 years uh, as, uh, as a developer. Uh, and uh, many, many theories uh, that uh, can help uh, this kind of perspective, the design analysis perspective. Uh, and early laying uh, is uh, still important for us. So thank you so much to all of us. Thank you so much to Paola. Thank you to you, Miles. Uh, and thank you to Danilo that has translated very well uh, this dialogue with early laying.